Good morning, vlogsters, and hi, everybody. Welcome back to my channel. Um, I wanted to um, let you know what's going on, and then we're going to do whatever we can. And I'll tell you that in a second. First, grab yourself a cup of coffee. So some of you have been keeping up with what's going on. Um, some of you follow me on social media, and some of you watch uh, all the channels. Um, but my, um, I'm not going to promise you this may have a lot of tears and it may have no tears because I'm going through all the stages. Um, but those of you who don't know, my little brother um, passed suddenly, 38 years old. Um, he had a pulmonary em embolism. He had a history of blood clots ever since he was in a car accident um, uh, two days before the millennium. Or the day before, actually, it was the 30th, so I guess that'd be the day before, but um, I just came home last night from New York where we um, spent the time together processing, grieving, saying goodbye. Uh, I, um, those of you who watch all the time know that I have been going through some stuff before um, this news, so I'm still going through it. Um, I am trying, I'm going to try to take each moment as it comes. Um, Jesus is leading me and carrying me. Um, it seems like I look back and there's only one set of footprints for miles. But I feel like every once in a while I can put my feet down <laughs> and walk a little bit myself. So, Jim has been an amazing um, support. Uh, unlike when my father passed away, when my I, that he wasn't okay. Let me they say. Let me correct those words. When my father passed away, he was very, um, very strong, uh, very stoic. He really allowed me to do all the things that I needed to do. But Jim had a. Um, his own relationship with my brother. So he had also gone through um, some some of his own uh, feelings this time. Um, I know he had his own relationship with my dad too, but it was just a little different. They, him and my brother had a lot uh, in common. They shared a lot of things. So um, it has been a process. Um, I mentioned it, um, I think on a post that, um, since I moved here, I only spoke to my brother three times, um, when I first moved here and I haven't spoken to him since, um, 2013, which was very hard because I always felt like we were really, really close. Um, and I understand that he was going through some, through some things um, and I wasn't there, um, but I really always just assumed we would reconcile. Um, I have, I have been reaching out to him uh, ever since. He did, um, my sister did tell him to reach out to me when we were trying to purchase a new computer because that's like his thing is putting together what systems you might need. And she also was here when I turned 50 and she requested that he text me a happy birthday. So I did um, get those two messages. Um, this this last 12 months, I got those two messages. So that was, um, meant, meant a lot, so. Um, it was very, it was very cathartic. Is that the only word I can think of that's come to my mind, but it was very comforting uh, that to see his friends, um, his friends that he's made since I haven't spoken to him, um, and them all telling me that he's such a 
was such a wonderful man and friend. And how kind and generous he is. Um, was, is. Um, that really meant a lot to me. Um, the thing that I have to work through myself is There are things that I know, um, there's things that I believe, but there are different things that I feel. So, I know that through God all things are possible. Right now it doesn't feel possible, but I know that it is. It just doesn't feel that way right now. So it's me relying on my faith to get through it. I have to come to terms with the fact that I will never know why. Um, we didn't talk this whole time, or he didn't talk to me. Um, I have to come to terms with the fact that I have to forgive myself. for whatever I might have done. And I have to forgive him for however. He made me feel that he may not know he made me feel that way, if that makes any sense. Um, I have moments where I want to do nothing but stay in bed. And then I have moments where I want to clean the whole house. And then I have moments where I want to create as an outlet. I have moments where I want to vegetate and moments where I want to pray and moments where I just want to sleep. wake up pretend that the whole thing is just a dream but more like a nightmare so I know if you came and found me through DIYs and Dollar Tree stuff um, that this isn't what you signed on for but if you're gonna stick around I appreciate it I do have lots of stuff in the can from even before even before I went to Texas I just I didn't have the heart to edit it um, to do voiceovers I don't I don't I didn't feel happy for a long time um, and there are moments when I felt happy I wanted to share that with my family not unfortunately not with you uh, not 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 with you but I wanted to like use that time that I felt good to be with my family um, not knowing if it would run out that's what I was trying to say and I had a couple of moments with you all but I even before my brother passed away I told you I was struggling with some some things excuse me uh -huh. so um, while I was in New York, I went to the Christmas tree shop with my sisters. When I first walked in the door, there were all of these uh, doormats and I started to look through the doormats and they were so pretty 
and they were just six dollars and 99 cents and they're really good quality and i just actually started to get excited and a little happy and then i started to cry it felt like the first time i was excited for something in weeks or even months or even a month i should say um so um i thank you all for joining me i understand um i just want to let you know if you're following along with the bible study i haven't finished the last uh three days that i was there were very very difficult um i was going through some uh, i was going through some things that i didn't even feel like picking up the camera so um i intend to finish them um jim and i spoke yesterday about um possibly reading them and recording the reactions together um and doing the prayers so if you are joining me for those i appreciate it and we will finish um I know the point of doing them for seven days is to do them seven days in a row, but I don't think, I don't think God really cares if you can't keep a calendar. So, I want to thank you all. Um, Cheryl sent me some beautiful flowers. I got hundreds and thousands of messages of condolences and prayers and just love pouring out from all of my friends and family and all of my youtube family and youtube friends and i wanted to just say thank you i i don't know i don't know how i could have got through it all without you i think to be honest um i would have had my sisters to lean on for sure but i've been leaning on them so much i feel like they're gonna And as always, you guys take care. God bless. We'll see you next time.